Deion Sanders has been heavily rumored to follow his sons to the NFL and become a head coach in the NFL. And a lot of people were expecting him to leave Colorado, including me. But Deion Sanders recently just stated during an appearance on the All Smoke podcast that he has no plans of leaving Boulder, Colorado even after his kids leave for the NFL. And a lot of us could be wrong about Deion Sanders following his sons to the NFL because Deion Sanders just made it clear that he has no plans of leaving. And this is exactly what he had to say. Most people ask me what you're going to do when they're out. You're going to the pros together. I said a real father leaves his sons, he doesn't follow them. Sanders said around the 16 minute mark, So I'm good, I'll be here, I ain't going nowhere, I'm straight. I love Boulder, Colorado, and I cannot wait till they go into the NFL and do their thing. When asked where the Sanders family will be in the next 5-10 to 10 years, he responded, The kids will be in the pros and I'll be here. Still, Sanders doesn't feel motivated to pursue NFL head coaching jobs at any point. Nah, I don't want to coach in the NFL. He reiterated around the 46 minute mark. Now I know coaches can always tell lies. We've seen it before. Back in 2006, the greatest college football coach of all time, Nick Saban, said he wasn't going to be the Alabama head coach and that he was proud to be a Dolphin. But two weeks later, Saban was introduced as the new head coach for Alabama. Baba Petrino was linked to many multiple jobs in 2004, but he said that he wasn't interested in any other coaching jobs and that he was happy at the University of Louisville, and he stated how he was happy about Louisville's move into the Big East with an opportunity to play in the BCS Bowl game, and the chance to compete for a national championship. Soon after making that statement, he was interviewed for the LSU job in 2006, but he didn't get the job. Instead, he signed a 10-year deal at Louisville, and stated that this is exactly where he wanted to be, but just 6 months later, Petrino was named the Atlanta Falcons head coach in the NFL and he created a lot of controversy with that. The point is, sometimes what comes out of a coach's mouth isn't always true, and people can always change their mind. And that's just the truth, and sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do as a head coach. But the fact that Deion Sanders is supposedly staying at Colorado actually really creates optimism about the future of Colorado football. Because a lot of people were expecting Deion Sanders to leave Colorado after his sons leave for the NFL, and people were expecting him to stay long term at Colorado. But Deion Sanders saying that he has no plans of leaving is huge for college football as a whole. And it doesn't matter if you like Deion Sanders or don't like Deion Sanders. Because Deion Sanders gets a lot of national attention and he's one of the biggest names in the college football world right now. And him staying in college football for another 5-10 to 10 years could be huge news heading into the new era of college football. And on the bright side it will keep college football more popular. He is going to be a main talk of college football for a while. And a lot of people talk down on Deion Sanders and don't think he is a good coach. And it's completely fine to have your opinions. But I personally believe one thing you have to give Deion Sanders credit for is his ability to use the transfer portal at a very high level. Because he has brought in 36 transfers and a lot of quality starters as well. And there's only a few coaches that prioritize the transfer portal like Deion Sanders does. And he has done a solid job at attacking the weaknesses from Colorado last year by adding a lot of big offensive and defense alignment. And I really don't know if Colorado is trending up, and if his strategy for building a roster is going to work in the long run, but I'd have to say there's potential there if he stays longer at Colorado. 4-8 is not a good record, and we all know that, but we have to remember where this Colorado team was before Deion Sanders. And Deion Sanders is only getting started at Colorado, and next season if Colorado takes another step up, then can we really keep saying Deion Sanders is a bad coach? And can we really keep calling him out for every little thing he does? Deion Sanders is a big personality. And a lot of great players are going to want to play for him. And one thing I'd say he needs to grow and adapt in is his ability to recruit. Because having the worst recruiting class in the Big 12 and only bringing in 11 recruits may not cut it in college football. Because we've continued to see it and I highly doubt that it is going to change. But the most elite programs in college football dominate the recruiting trail. And maybe college football is changing. Maybe only using the transfer portal can get you to the top in the future, but we just have not seen it yet. And recruiting is a must need if you want to succeed in college football. And I'm just saying, imagine if Deion Sanders actually did in-home visits and put more effort into his recruiting. Because like I said, he is one of the more popular personalities in college football, period. And that's why he gets so many transfers and landed the number one tackle in the class of 2024, Jordan Seaton. Some teams can develop players and use the transfer portal pretty well, and they could still succeed at a pretty high level. 
Teams like Florida State, Ole Miss, Louisville, and even Michigan don't normally have top 5 or top 10 recruiting classes, but they can usually be in that top 25 to top 15 range in their respective recruiting classes. And a team like Michigan was developing talent at a very high level, and that's why they won a national championship. But Deion Sanders in Colorado is nowhere near having a top 25 recruiting class, and they have the worst Big 12 recruiting class in 2024, and that's honestly a concern if you ask me. And I would really like to see Deion Sanders use every resource he has at a high level if he is staying long term at Colorado. Because I think he could very well land many talented 5 star recruits if he put more effort into it. And that's not hate, that's just the honest truth. And if he makes more of an impact in the recruiting trail, then maybe Colorado could be a force in the future. And I still think you could build a solid roster using the transfer portal, but recruiting is a must need in today's college football if you want to be an elite program. And that is going to remain true until someone could prove otherwise. The transfer portal has kind of been like the side dish in today's college football, but Deion Sanders is instead using recruiting more as a side dish. And that is exactly why people have their questions and concerns about Deion Sanders' way of building a roster. And I do have a feeling a lot is going to change in the new landscape of college football. More teams are going to move conferences, the playoff might expand further, we don't know what's going to happen. But college football is continuing to evolve every year. And Deion Sanders potentially staying at Colorado for another 5-10 to 10 years is great news for Colorado fans if you ask me. Because Colorado has honestly been a terrible program for a while now. But having Deion Sanders as your head coach is huge for Colorado because of how big of a name he is. And also the fact that a lot of athletes want to play for Deion Sanders. And even if you don't believe in Deion Sanders way of doing things, tell me right now how many coaches would actually take this Colorado head coaching job in the first place and then build a better team. Because before Deion Sanders, there was absolutely no hope for this Colorado team. I know they had a couple good seasons, but they were consistently a bad team. And I'm not saying they're going to be a playoff contender or be an elite program, but Colorado has not had this bright of a future in a very long time. And the Colorado fan base has seen a lot worse from Colorado football. So a 4-8 season isn't really a bad look for Deion Sanders in Colorado because it's only year one and he's rebuilding a garbage program. But like I said, I'd like to see Deion Sanders adapt and recruit at a higher level because I think he could very well take recruiting to the next level if he really wanted to. And with everything that is changing in today's college football, one thing remains the same, and that is that recruiting at a high level can hardly ever go wrong unless you are Texas A&M. Jokes aside, I really think Colorado does have potential. And people have all kinds of narratives about Deion Sanders in Colorado, and you know, maybe Deion Sanders is lying and he does move on from Colorado after his kids leave for the NFL. I wouldn't be surprised. But I truly believe Colorado is not going to be any better without Deion Sanders. So keeping Deion Sanders as a head coach, no matter if you like him or not, is probably the best possible outcome for Colorado. Because on the bright side, Deion Sanders has used the transfer portal at a pretty high level. And he's a big enough name to attract five-star recruits like a Jordan Seaton. And Deion Sanders could always grow as a recruiter and attract many more five-star recruits. And I would love to see more from Deion Sanders in the recruiting trail, and that's my honest opinion. But if Colorado starts winning games, more athletes are going to want to play for Colorado. And I'm definitely not calling my shot or anything, but I think people hate on Deion Sanders in Colorado a bit too much. And I do think Colorado has a lot of potential moving forward if Deion Sanders stays long-term. And I guess another question people may be asking is how is he going to adapt after his kids leave for the NFL? Who is going to be that next quarterback for this team? Is he going to continue to prioritize the transfer portal? I guess we'll have to wait and see. But Deion Sanders saying that he has no plans of leaving Boulder, Colorado was a pretty big headline. And it may be flying under a lot of people's radars. But I think Colorado could have a bright future if Deion Sanders stays long term. But anyways, you guys let me know what you think about Deion Sanders staying long term at Colorado. But that's going to do it for today's video. Let me remind you guys to like the video and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you guys love college football, then you'll love this channel because we upload a ton of college football content and we basically cover everything on this channel. So definitely consider subscribing and also consider joining my Discord server down in the description below. But that is going to do it guys and peace out.